good morning good evening good afternoon good night whenever you're watching the video welcome back to the channel so in today's video i am going to tell you how you can get uh, around 60 fps almost more 60 fps on your fortnite on your intel hd graphics so without wasting any time i will start the video and in this video i will be going from some simple things to extreme things which i will discuss in the end the stream stuff which you can do to get maximum performance out of your system so the first thing you have to do is to check whether your intel hd system supports your uh, fortnite or not because uh, after season 10 of fortnite or chapter 1 for playing Fortnite, you require DirectX 11 and 12. To check the director version of your system, click on here, search and click on run. Then here, type DX, dig, click on OK. And a dialog box will pop up here right now. Here you can see DirectX version for my Intel HD is uh, DirectX 12. So for playing Fortnite, you require DirectX 11 or 12. So if your system has a DirectX 10 version, then try to update the DirectX version. But if it doesn't up get updated, then sorry, the Fortnite will not run on your system. That's the requirement of Fortnite if you want to play on Intel HD. So first thing is clear. So second step is enabling Fortnite performance mode in game. So in settings, here you have to go down all the way and you have in rendering mode you have to enable performance mode the performance mode actually decreases the load on our cpu and gpu especially for intel hd people or for the people having graphic card like 710 gtx 710 so they will absolutely get a performance boost significantly even in high-end system uh, people are getting a performance boost so for you to play a game on intel hd and get almost a smooth 60 fps it's best if you enable a, a rendering mode even if you are uh, earlier if your pc was getting around 30 fps because enabling uh, this mode you will be easily getting around 40 to 50 fps believe me this is how much this uh, mode is useful and right now it's in alpha mode only so in future it is absolutely will give you more performance with as the time goes on with the updates provided by fortnite so rest of my setting you can see here what i have done is uh, my all the settings are low here and my resolution is uh, around 900p and the resolution i generally keeps between 60 to 75 depending on how the visibility of the game I want to see. If I keep it around 60, the game looks a little bit of pixelated. So it's up to you how much you want to keep your 3D resolution. As low the 3D resolution will be in the game, the more FPS you will get, but the game will look more pixelated. So that's one thing. So first thing, enable your performance mode in Fortnite. That's the uh, first step in increasing your performance uh, for playing fortnite now the second step is working with your drivers so what you have to do is open your device manager you can search it directly from here and after opening your device manager click on display adapter intel hd graphics update a driver click on browse automatically for drivers so it will download the latest driver for your graphic card available online by your manufacturer of the pc so that is what you can do for a driver update but there is one more thing open transfer manager first to check uh, whether your processor is a uh, sixth generation seventh generation eighth generation or ninth generation so what intel has done is that a processor which are manufactured after sixth generation to our latest one actually have a dedicated driver update by intel only provided by intel only which is here i will put this link in the description so here what you can do is update your driver to latest one and you can have ps game in almost all games as there's one thing is that if a game is supportable by a driver then there's a significant performance gain in while playing the game so that is one of more factor which significantly helps so i have already updated my driver to latest one here and you can see it's 27.97 
and in my property of driver you can see i'm using the latest driver so if you are using sixth generation seventh eighth or ninth generation processor or 11th generation so you can update your driver by the intel website and you can have a significant performance gain in your games just check your ta in task manager you can check easily which processor is yours my sixth generation okay so that's the thing and now i'm going to the extreme end which especially for the laptop users so for the pc users you can skip if you want this step what i am going to do is i am going to use a software called by intel extreme utility this software you can download it from online i will put its link in the description also this is the intel extreme utility software here you have to go to core and after going to core what i have done is i have under voltage my processor to minus 50 millivolts increased its uh, turbo boost power max from 15 watt to 22 watts and in graphics which is my intel hd 520 i have done under volting of minus 50 millivolts so if you are seeing this gray out mark for your uh, core voltage offset also in your processor and same goes for graphic then actually you are locked by your pc or laptop manufacturer through bios so what i'm trying to say is that by bios only your manufacturer has not allowed you to do the undervolting of your processor so one thing to get around is that try updated your laptop bios to latest one or rolling back to previous bios because one time what happened with me is that when i updated my laptop bios to the latest one i was locked out from this core voltage offset option in my intel extreme utility by the manufacturer so when i rolled back to my previous version of bios i was again able to use this core voltage offset setting so that's one thing uh, now i will briefly explain you what these settings are doing and for more details you can check my video on how to improve performance in intel hd graphics more properly where i've explained a lot about undervolt and all these chunks and there's some reference link also if you want to do it by yourself so that's the fourth step and if one more thing is that if your laptop is showing you under volting sign and if you have done under volting if every laptop has a different under volting just do a stress test for cpu stress test for around 15 minutes minimum to see your laptop is not doing thermal throttling or power limit throttling after you've done under volting and increased your turbo boost power max and if your laptop is not having issues then only you should do this last step and this step is uh, also mentioned for our pc user is that to use this software called spark control so what i have done is i've clicked on this basement setting here and i have disabled all the parking dc frequency and apply it that's all you have to do it and this software will keep on running on background what this software is doing actually is that it is allowing your processor to run at maximum performance all the time so it will help in giving you a little bit more fps while you are playing games so these are the steps you have to do in order to get maximum performance in fortnite or any other games on your intel hd graphics the so first thing is to check whether your system uh, can run fortnite or not by checking its rtx version second thing is enabling performance mode in fortnite third thing is doing driver update by device manager and if your the processor is after six generation then update it from intel website fourth thing is going for intel extreme utility software to do under volting this is especially for laptop people and the last not the least is using this spark control software i will put link in the description where you can download it and doing it by disabling all the things and clicking on apply and ok if your intel extreme utility is giving you no signs of thermal throttling or power limit throttling after you have optimized it in intel extreme utility then only do this last step so these are the step you can do and these same steps except uh, performance mode you can use in your other games also so thank you for watching if you like the video click that like button click the subscribe button to motivate me to make more videos and I will see you in the next video. Bye and have a happy new year. Bye.